You are wondering what Lugs hate? There are some things we do, such as hugs, that people tend to perceive as love, care and affection, as you are about to see in the video, they may have a completely different meaning for dogs. There are various situations in which even experienced dog owners act in a completely wrong way. Which ones? Take a look at the top 10 things people do to dogs that dogs hate. Number 10. Dogs hate certain places, people and other dogs. Dog owners often visit places with plenty of other people or dogs. We rarely ever wonder, do our pets like going to these places? When you are planning a visit to your friends, acquaintances or extended family members, keep in mind that your dog may not enjoy being there, there could be something making them nervous and aggressive. Try to pay attention to how your dog behaves when you visit certain places. Number 9. Dogs hate using words instead of body language. Our pets can remember some words we use often, but in general, they do not understand every word you say. Your dog will understand you much better based on your body language. One thing dogs dislike is when you use verbal phrases that don't add up with your body language, that is, with your nonverbal signs. For example, you are crossing your arms and calling the dog to come to you. Number 8. Dogs hate when someone petting their head or face. When somebody touches us, it often comes as a surprise. A stranger's touch, especially on her head or face, often comes across as an unwelcome intrusion into our private space. Same as people, dogs dislike this too. Although we may think they are doing great, your pet's facial expression and body language could betray their unwillingness and discomfort. If you want to stay safe, pet your dog's back. Still, this doesn't go for all dogs, and many of them enjoy cuddling. Number 7. Dogs hate when there are no structured rules. Dogs like having a strong pack leader, somebody who imposes firm rules. Your dog will feel less stressed and confused in certain situations if you can lay down some ground rules for them to follow. It's also essential to adhere to those rules, without exception. Number 6. Dogs hate when a stranger approaches and stares into their eyes. When somebody approaches us while continually staring us right in the eyes, we perceive it as strange and it often makes us feel uncomfortable. What does staring into their eyes mean to dogs? In the dog world, staring them in the eyes while approaching is impolite and it leads to a challenging situation. To an unfamiliar dog, we are somebody encroaching on their territory. Dogs will then look at our facial expressions and try to ascertain what our intentions are. Their reactions are turning their head and looking away or retreating and barking. Same as with humans, staring is considered rude in the dog world. Number 5. Dogs hate when you are disinterested. If you are working long hours and you are away all day and then you come home tired and disinterested, your dog will feel bored and may start being destructive. What to do to break up the monotony? First, keep your dog busy with activities. Second, teach them new tricks. And third, play with them. Any activity that brightens your dog's mood is a desirable one. If you can break up the monotony and manage to be entertaining, your pets will adore you and will barely be able to wait for you to return home. Number 4. Dogs hate when you keep your dog on a short and tense leash. Keeping a dog on a short leash prevents them from moving around how they would like, making them feel trapped. A short leash causes feelings of tension and anxiety. Try using a loser leash so your dog can have a bit more freedom, which would make him calmer. Now, it's time for the top 3 things people do to dogs that dogs hate. Number 3. Dogs hate hugs. People express their love and affection through hugs, but our pets don't always feel the same and hugs sometimes have an entirely different meaning for them, so what is it? In the dog world, a hug can mean domination, threat and superiority. Now you must be thinking, I've seen some dogs that love giving hugs. The secret is in their body language. Some dogs will be calm, wagging their tail and expressing their happiness. Meanwhile, others will act tense and show signs of discomfort. Number 2. Dogs hate a walk without opportunity for exploration. One of the most important senses of our dogs is their sense of smell. They love walking around and smelling everything they come across. Taking a walk in a new area without the freedom to smell things isn't much fun. 
When you are thinking of going for a walk in a new place, remember to give your dogs the freedom they crave. It should make them much happier. And number one, dogs hate teasing. Not only do dogs hate teasing, but it makes them frustrated, anxious and angry. What kinds of teasing do dogs dislike? Dogs hate teases such as pulling their tail, tugging on their ears, faking bow throws, blowing in their ears, stepping on their tail, and etc. Teasing can have many negative consequences on a dog's behavior. For example, faking a bow throw while playing with the dog will result in decreased trust in you. While teasing may be fun for you, it isn't fun for them. Still, our pets are often incredibly tolerant toward us. Even experienced dog owners sometimes repeat procedures very irritating to dogs, and dogs tolerate them anyway. If you are going to avoid treating your dog poorly, you first have to know all the things they dislike, right? If you find that your dog gets irritated by something not mentioned on this list, I invite you to share it with us in the comment section below. Would you like to see more? Take a look at the other videos about dogs I prepared for you in the video description. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please click the like button and subscribe to not miss any new ones in the future. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!